I'm 3D Hero and welcome to today's latest D2 build I have to offer. Today I have another Titan build focused on the Code of the Devastator, which will focus on turning off flaming throne hammers into an imbued flaming throne hammer with a hint of lightning, which once connected with a target can turn them into a lightning vault which can then further hit a group of adds and thus kill two birds with one stone, or hammer in that case. Designed by melee use, if you're tired of using weapons all the time, it can offer you the ability to constantly take out and one-shot low to mid-tier class enemies, as you have unlimited hammers to throw, which I can find can be really fun in certain events against waves upon waves of adds. Thanks to the Devastator Tree, which can hone this ability to provide further damage against groups and allow more breathing room for you to focus on bigger and larger targets with infinite uses. So if you wanted to focus on a pure melee build, you have this, or if you're someone that runs out of ammo relatively quickly, and you need something that backs you up 100%, this is one way to go about it. For the setup, you're required to have just two things. First, you need to have the new Code of the Devastator Tree fully unlocked to make full use of the Throne Hammer ability, and also the Roar and Flame skill, which provides a further damage buff times 3 every time you land a kill with the hammer, and Tireless Warrior skill, which returns health back upon kills, and once you pick it back up, to bolster the skill tree further. And then you want to have the exotic Doom Marches boots, which allows you to charge up and release a electrical current to nearby targets once you build up momentum and melee. All this combined will allow you to have endless flaming hammers that can chain up damage to others, constant health recovery upon kills, and picking your hammer up and further power buff to your abilities upon kills with a hammer. The Doom Marches do have a slight cooldown when activated, which is around 4-5 seconds, but you can still use the hammer while you wait. If you want to make this build even more effective for yourself, I would recommend you stack at least 3 4 mini mods to help with mini regenerative speed, momentum transfer, which can combine well with a sticky grenade or firewall grenade, and gives back a medium portion of mini energy, and perpetration and insulation, which both offer ability energy back as well. In terms of weapons to help out, it's ideal to have at least one mid range weapon and one close range weapon. A SMG with a grey robber perk will be suitable for close range targets that you don't finish off successfully, while your mid range weapon should offer you a quick getaway in case of your main primary failing you. AR, scout, and pulse rivals fit the category well. With everything in place, you can now become 4 if you truly want to, and become a one man throwing hammer maniac as much as you please. Using this building strikes or the blinding well, or generally anything spawns a lot of ads, I become aware of playing something completely different to what the main side of the game was, and what I was used to. And to be honest, it was quite fun and laid back every now and then to not take everything too seriously. I didn't need to have any OP or meta based weapon to keep up to date with everyone, as a hammer and ability alone allow me to clear ads with relative success. Against high tier majors and ones with shields, I was able to take a good portion of health out of them where it would take around 2 to 3 max hammers to kill them, which isn't so bad. Against boss level targets, it's not so wise to use against them, so play it safe and smart and use your weapons. Ideally, you're heavy to dispatch them quickly. PvE is great to use every now and then. PvP is, well, I would say, it has its uses every now and then. Not 100% effective, not something that you want to be roaming all the time in PvP, but if you want something to mess around in PvP in custom games, then I would say that this would work well every now and then, if you can pull it off. So, there you have it. This is the end of the video and the end of the build, and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the content, did you even like? A sub and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, I also appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thanks for watching Guardians and I hope to see you again soon.